up everybody it's johnny snow in the building again and um today what i'm gonna do is do a gun collection video just the ak's just the ak's so right now i got the table spread out with uh just the ak's that i own and um this collection has grown a lot in 2020 and 2021 and uh it is still gonna grow I have not gotten all the ones that I want yet, but you know, I got a I got a few of them. So let me go over the ones that I do have. All right. And uh matter of fact, the first one that I'm gonna do, some people might not even consider, you know, just a traditional AK because it is more of a shotgun, but it is not considered a shotgun. This is uh my Comrade 12. All right, right here we have the Comrade 12. This is considered a firearm. A firearm is not considered a shotgun and uh, is not considered a short barrel shotgun. It is not considered a pistol, all right? This is just considered a firearm. And I'm gonna tell you something. I absolutely love this weapon. This is a beast, beast, beast. This gun right here, one, you have to use very high velocity ammunition to make it cycle properly. And if you are not up to it, your shoulder will let you know very quickly that you're not up for the challenge. And on this, I have, of course, uh, it's called a door breacher muzzle brake on the front. I have a flashlight laser combo. I have a vertical grip in the front and have uh, the brace in the back. And of course I have my usual right here. And I will say this is by far one of my favorite weapons because of the fun factor, because of the, you know, the versatility of the ammunition that you can put in a weapon that uh, shoots 12 gauge. I mean, there's a lot of different type of um, loads you can put in this thing, you know, just as long as it is high velocity. But I absolutely, absolutely, absolutely recommend you getting one of these if you can get your hands on one. Definitely, definitely, definitely. All right, so that's the Comrade. All right, let's sit this here. And next, We have my Zastava. Uh, this is the ZPAP 92 or Zastava ZPAP M92. This is uh, basically a Yugoslavian pistol. And uh, on this Yugoslavian pistol, I have added Kalashnikarver wood to the front, which is awesome. Uh, shout out to people over there at Kalashnikover. They make the best furniture for aftermarket furniture for AKs. I mean, it is undeniably the best. And uh, 
I have a U.S. machine guns. Uh, this is, um, you can call it a barrel extension, but it's more of a counterbalance. And uh, it's called the Vented, uh, the, the Vented Stone Crusher uh, Barrel Extension at um, USMachineGuns.com. It is uh, awesome. It keeps the gun from jumping. It keeps it very, very steady. And I have the SB Tactical TF-1913 on the rear. I have the 40-round magazine, windowed magazine, 40-round windowed mag magazine. And I have the KGB pistol grip on it. And this gun right here is also another one of my favorites, which is a term you're probably going to be hearing a lot during this video. One of my favorites because... To be honest with you, I love all of my AKs. I love every single one of them. There's not one that I can say that I do not like. All right. And uh, as far as the this one goes, it's a very smooth shooter. It is one of those guns where, you know, you cannot find anything wrong with this. Yeah, it has a thicker receiver. It has 1.5 millimeter versus the 1 millimeter that most AKs have. And this, it has a bolts trying on it. it. It is awesome. Awesome, awesome, awesome. So if you get a chance to get you one, it won't look like this. <laughs> it definitely won't look like this, but get it. You know, definitely go ahead and get it. Awesome weapon to have. Awesome, awesome, awesome weapon to have. All right. And we're going to keep going with the Zastavas. This is my Zastava. <laughs> I like this one. Oh, yeah. Zastava ZPAP M85. This is chambered in 556, 223. And I uh, basically have turned this into a rifle. It is no longer a pistol because I have permanently attached this muzzle device to the end to bring the barrel into compliant length. So with that being said, I have added a butt stock to this one instead of a brace. I have a butt stock on this instead of a brace. And I must say, I didn't even need to put that on there because this gun shoots so smooth. It does not need to be stabilized, but I, I put them on all my weapons it's just something that i do and uh i didn't mention this on the other zastava but i do my own leather wrapping i lap wrap the leather around it and everything so do all that and um this is more wood from kalashnikarver and he made this for me and i actually have a pistol grip on the way that matches the uh handguard grip handguard wood so you know, that shall be here pretty soon. And I have a vented gas tube for Midwest Industries. And I got my muzzle device from Atlantic Firearms. Atlantic Firearms. So, you know, this just is a beautiful weapon. I love this. And um, this uh, buttstock, this folder, folding buttstock is from um, CNC Warrior. And I actually... Uh, have a Tapco 556 AK magazine on this. So I'm gonna just let you know this is an awesome weapon too. I love both of my Yugos. Both of my Yugos are awesome. Uh it's time to get me an M70 now. So yeah, I have both of the pistols, so it's M70 time. So all right, let's move right along. And um now we're getting to the newest edition to my AK family. I just picked this up yesterday, matter of fact. This is my Polish AK-47. This is my Hell Pup. And um, I've heard a lot of trash talking on Hell Pups, but, you know, hey, yeah, it's a, it seems to be a good weapon. I, I, have, I don't have any issues with it. I haven't shot it yet, you know, but I have shot them before. And the ones that I have shot ran flawlessly. So I have nothing bad to say about this. 
And this will also be another project that I'm working on. This is far from complete. Um, I have a um, KGB brace uh, folder uh, coming uh, for this. I also have the tail hook mod one that'll be on it. And I've already put a uh, cheese grater from Kyber Customs on it. And I have the blast forwarding device from Damage Industries. I have that on it already. And yeah, let me show you the, the front of it. Uh, see if the light can get in there so you can really see it. But it projects all the blast for it, so it will not be ridiculous as as ridiculous as my uh, mini and micro Draco. And I also have the forty rounder on this as well. And I have the enhanced. Uh, safety selector on here enhanced safety selector so yeah this this is able to lock in place with the enhanced safety selector and you also yeah you're also able to oh, don't have it up high enough push it down when you want to and all these magazines uh, the 40 rounders with the window their last round bolt hold open so you know, all that being said, uh, I'm actually talking to my homeboy over at Kalash and the Carver, trying to come up with some ideas of what I want to do to this, you know, and I'm pretty sure we're going to come up with something pretty awesome, you know, going to come up with something pretty awesome for this. So be on the lookout to see what direction this goes in and uh i'm pretty sure that the end product will be satisfactory will be satisfactory it's already starting out good and here is the stamp label from the radom factory in poland so all right here we, that's it that's it i love this gun so far and more videos are on the way with this one more videos are on the way all right, let me sit that down and move on to the next one. All right, here is my Draco NAC 9. They don't want none of the smoke. All right, you ready? This right here has um, been memed, memed before. It's been put on cursed gun images. It's been put on, you know, like, you know, either you love this gun or you hate it. I love it, though. You know, I have the bone steel brace on the back. And, you know, I guess there are some people who do not like the woodwork on it. Uh, I think it's awesome. Again, this is from Kalash Carver, and, uh, you know, he hooked me up with this. I wanted something a little bit different, so he matched the wood from the pistol grip to the wood to the hand guard, and it works. It works. It works. It is awesome, awesome, awesome. I love this. So, you know, for all the hate that this gun has received, I don't care. <laughs> And most of the people who's talking junk about it probably don't even own one. So, you know, it's, it is what it is. But this is my NAC 9 with a bone steel brace, Kalash the Carver pistol grip, Kalash the Carver four grip. I have the AKA dash, uh, AK dash A24 um, magazine on this and a Kyber Customs um, cheese grater. And I have different muzzle devices that I run on here. Right now, I just have on the tanker style. And, um, I, you know, this is just on here for the moment. 
I may end up taking this off, putting something else on, but this is the tanker style muzzle brake on there right now, just because, you know, just because I can, and I put it on there. So, all right, that is my Draco NAC 9, Draco NAC 9. All right, now moving right along, we're going to get to another Draco. This is going to be... Uh, my mini Draco, let me sit that one right there. This is my mini Draco. And this is another incomplete firearm. All right. I, I work, I'm working on all of them at the same time. And um, basically this one right here has the leather on it, has the leather on the grip, but I do not have my wood from Kalashnikov Carver yet. So I do realize that the leather does not match the wood on this one, but it will when the new wood gets here. And the new wood is absolutely awesome. The wood that he is sending me. So, you know, just be on the lookout for that. Be on the lookout for it. And, um, you know, basically what we have here is we have the J-Mac on the front. It's the J-Mac LAF, loud and flashy. I made my own cheese grater. So I am the maker of that cheese grater. This one also has a 40 round windowed magazine on it. We have KGB pistol grip and the KGB brace with the tail hook mod one on this one. This is the same setup that I'm gonna put on my Polish, on my um, Hell Pup. You will have, I'm gonna have the same setup on my Hell Pup. And uh, as far as pistol grip go for the Hell Pup, I will have the um, uh, matching wood pistol grip that matches the wood. So this is my Micro Draco. This thing has never failed in any of the shooting. I um, actually really like shooting this gun. It's, you know, I know people have issues with Dracos jumping all over the place. J-Mac kills that completely. It does not jump. It does not bounce all over the place. It's a very, very well-mannered firearm, very well-mannered, and, you know, you just can't go wrong. Can't go wrong. I absolutely, absolutely, absolutely suggest getting one of these if you get your hands on one. Right now, they're not cheap anymore. Not that they ever was super cheap, but they were a whole lot less expensive than they are now. So, you know, good luck finding one. But if you do, you're going to love it. You're absolutely going to love it. So, matter of fact, let me just sit that right there. And let me get to the granddaddy of all of them. This is my Micro Draco. Uh, this is uh, the gun that I did my first YouTube gun video with. And it has changed a lot since uh i did that first video and the thing is is that although it has changed a lot it still looks a whole lot the same you know Put put in uh the ndz pistol grip i have a blast can on the front that's just to make it more range friendly i also have the barrett style that i run on it and um Let's see, I have changed out my folding device. I used to have a different type, uh, a little cheap one that I had got from Optics Planet for about $12. It was, I think it's about $13 to $15 now. I have the Strike Industries uh, brace on the back and um, the Olight Baldor light laser combo and the Night Strike Diamondback foregrip, Texas Shooter Supply Rail, and um, Fab Defense Thumb Stop on it. So this this weapon right here 
is is awesome. This weapon right here is just a shooter. It eats any type of ammo that you put in it. And it is just just absolutely fun to shoot. Absolutely fun to, you know, just take to the range, pull out and, you know, just, yeah. Words can't explain it. You have to get one, shoot it yourself. Awesome, awesome, awesome. But uh, this right here is another one that if you're able to go ahead and pick you up one, I suggest going ahead and getting it because these have uh, appreciated in price drastically, 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 drastically. And right now, they're very hard to find. But I love mine. And I mean, it's just awesome, awesome, awesome. So with that being said, that is my AK collection for the moment, but it is forever growing. It is forever growing. And um, I would love to get my hands on a mini jack. If anybody knows the ones that hit me in the comments, tell me where to get it. And I um, think I may go ahead and get me an arsenal as well. Been been trying to decide whether or not I want to get an arsenal. Is it worth spending a you know the the money for it? But right now, uh Dracos are going for more than arsenals. Who would have ever thought? But um yeah, if uh anybody knows where I can get a mini jack, hit me up in the comments, let me know. Yeah, and also if you haven't hit that subscribe button, go ahead, hit it and uh hit notifications and go check out the Snow Armory. That is the Snow Armory at the snowarmory.com. The snowarmory.com. All right, everybody. Johnny Snow up out of here.